Hey guys, Nessa here, and today is another Lego versus Make It Blocks. Um, I got this at Dollar Tree, um, and of course it's only a dollar. Uh, it has 28 pieces, and it's just called House. Now the instructions aren't in the bag; they're on the back. So if you can see that, go for it. There, it's probably better close up like this. I can see it definitely better on my camera than I can by itself. Um, but if you guys would like to make it with me, I'm going to make both in Lego and in these Greenbrier bricks, I guess is what they're, I don't know. They're just, yeah, just the plastic bricks, the make it blocks. So let's get this off. Okay. Oh, that's nice. It's still sealed proper. It doesn't have like an open whatever. So let's see what parts we need. We'll gather them together and then you guys can make it with me. Let me turn that around so we, I can see that. Okay, it says we will need a 2x6 plate, which I also have in Lego. Um, a 2x2 two two brick, which I also have. Like I said, I've got them in both. And look, you can even see the color difference already. Uh, it says you need five of these slope bricks. The 2x2 uh, two by, two by two slope bricks, you need five of them. And so I do too. Yeah, I kind of went ahead just getting the parts. I, I didn't like, you know, yeah. Uh, it says you need one window door thingy, which I do too. Um, mine's not designed like theirs is though. I mean, theirs has this really cool little ridge on it, but I don't know that you can pop a window in it properly. I don't see any markings that you can, well, maybe on the side. I don't know. But I'm going to leave the glass in mine, make it look like a glass front door. So, yeah, you need one of those 1 by 2 by 2 windows. Um, you need a 1 by 2 plate, one of them. A 1 by 2 jumper plate. And also you need one of these 2 by 2 slopes, but I don't have this in brown. So I am actually going to use two of the one by two cheese wedges and put them back to back to make the same thing. So it works just as easy. Um, also need two black one by one bricks, which I do have. Let me move this out of the way for a second, sorry. Um, also need two one by one uh, round tile, uh, round plates. So I have those also. It says we also need one um, two by two plate in cool yellow, but I don't have any of these pieces in cool yellow. Like they want, there's some special ones coming up. So I'm gonna do them in tan. So the light tan, it's close enough because I want all the correct pieces. Um, also need two one by one bricks in that color as well. Like I said, you can make your house whatever color you want. Um, you need two of the headlight bricks. Um, it gave me an extra one, so we'll just put that one to the side. We only need two, and I have those as well. Um, you also need two of the one by 2 um, tiles, I mean uh, plates, sorry, and I have those as well. Now you need six of these profile bricks or whatever they're called the masonry bricks but these ones are different um and i'll i'll show you in a second um normal lego i'm using these gray ones as an example when you have these ridges you have that on the other side and when you have these like brick looking ones the mason bricks you have this on the other side well for the ones that they give us it's this on one side but it is that on the other so it's kind of cool but it's like weird so yeah Lego has it different so the these two parts like don't exist for the for the make it blocks which I thought was kind of interesting um, but we are going to be using the brick side not the lined side or they use this for hay for the horses and stuff sometimes um, so yeah you need six of these one by two um, brick pieces and I have those in tan as well. 
or the light tan or sand yellow or whatever it's called. I don't know yet. So to start these builds off, you will need the 2x6 plate and then the 1x1, um, I'm going to call them tan, yellow, whatever. So the, the yellow 1x1 one one bricks as well as the 2x2 two two plate. So that is step two. Step three, you will need one of these. A one by two profile, I guess. I don't know what they're called. Whatever, just a one by two brick with the lines. A one by two plate in the yellow and a one by two in the brown. So these all go like so. That one goes there. And then these you stack right next to each other like so so yeah these ones are a little bit harder to push together but yeah that's how it looks so far and then for step four we have to place the window and the other one by two tile and the one by one round studs so let's place those on the Lego version as well Oops, that's okay if it popped off. It just goes right back on. So, yeah, it's like a little flower plant or whatever. And now for step five, we need these again, two of these, and you have them facing outward. And the two profile bricks, they have them turn around so the square is forward, facing outward, so it looks like little side windows next to the door. Yeah. I'm going to place those ones on first for the Lego one. Alrighty, and now step six is two of these side by side. And two of the slope bricks, one on each side. Mm -hmm. Just like so. There we go, coming along the little houses here. Um, and now step, that was step six. Okay, so now step seven is another profile brick, whatever, in the middle with a two by two slope brick and the two by two brick. So let's put all those on on this one as well. There we go. Now step eight is the two two of the uh, slope bricks with the one by two um, jumper plate. There we go. And of course the last steps are pretty easy. You'll need the last two black to make the chimney and then the two by two um, double slope whatever brown. So mine I have two pieces because like I said I don't have a solid one in that color. And then the Lego. There we go. That's pretty cute. It's small. I mean, it would look good, like, if you were doing a very small version or, like, if you had, like, a campground. These look like little cabins. So it would be cool to have a whole bunch of these, like, look like they're up in, like, you know, the mountains and stuff. And you can have them, you know, just for for facades, just for the front. Um, I think they're pretty cool, especially if you have a bunch of them. Like I said, it could look like little cabins in the woods or something. Um, or if you're doing a big enough mock, uh, this could possibly be a dollhouse, a playhouse, or if you finish it off, maybe even a doghouse, a fancy looking doghouse. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I mean, I think they're, it's pretty cool. Um, this I can feel it's definitely lighter than the Lego. The Lego is a little bit heavier. It's a little better quality material, of course. Um, but that is still so odd to see these lines inside when it should look like that. <laughs> That's so weird. But yeah, um, I think it's a good little build. I mean, for a dollar, I got me some instructions to build it in Lego because they're compatible sizes. Um, I, of course, I probably I won't be keeping this, um, but I, I do like it. I think it's a nice, simple, cute little house. Just for, you know, especially if you're making micro builds and stuff like that. I mean, it's just, it's a good size. Um, it'd be kind of cool to finish it though. You know, make it like a, 
make it out to about maybe here, you know, or even double it up, you know, just make it a little heftier. Um, could probably even turn this into looking like a gingerbread house too, maybe for the holidays. Yeah. Um, I think it was a good build. Like I said, it was only a dollar at Dollar Tree. Um, it's on the peg thingy. It's part of the farm center or whatever. So I guess I'm assuming it's a farmhouse or something. I don't know. But yeah, um, the instructions are right on the cover. I mean, for a dollar you get to keep them. So, I mean, why not? I, I think it's a pretty cool little, little set. Yeah. Um, but I still do prefer it in Lego, of course, for sure. Well, I hope you guys uh, liked this video or enjoyed it, um, and I hope to see you guys in future videos. So, yeah, have a good day, keep on bricking, and bye!